Hello. Today I will be looking at the first part of a series of presentations about mechanical desktop and interaction with it with Inventor, installation and so on. The first part will be installing mechanical desktop on a Windows 7 machine. As many of you will be aware, mechanical desktop has been end of life for some time, um, but we do have a number of customers that keep an install of it, mechanical desktop for accessing legacy design data. Some of those will maintain an XP machine to run the mechanical desktop on, but you can run it on the Windows 7 platform, which is what I'm going to be looking at in this presentation. Um, as I've mentioned, you'll be aware that also that mechanical desktop has not been supported for some time, which has meant that you've not been able to get service packs for mechanical desktop since 2009. And the only way you will have been able to upgrade it will have been to the product design suites or to an inventor seat. However, it's also worth noting that uh, as of the end of March 2015, you will no longer be able to activate your mechanical desktop. So this is a last chance for you to activate your MDT seat. Step one of the install process requires you to be on subscription for a mechanical product. This gives you the ability to be able to request a 2012 serial number. And for that to be inputted into this the next part of this process in order to get your mechanical desktop up and running or you need a qualifying product installed on your machine the qualifying products are inventor 2010 inventor 2011 autocad inventor tooling suite 2010 autocad inventor tooling suite 2011 or product design suite 2012 incorporating either inventor 2012 or inventor professional 2012 Next, step two, you will need to go to the, the link site below and we will include this in the, the blog post itself so you can access this site directly. And you will need to complete the registration form defining the information required to set up the, the new install of MDT. And then submit this form. This form will then take you to the download site and here you will need to download the relevant seat. Now this bit is very important because depending on which qualifying product you have there is a different download to install so make sure you select the correct one. So for the separate downloads you've got Product Design Suite 2012, you've got the AutoCAD Inventor Tooling Suite 2010 and 2011 and for all other versions of Inventor in this case listed 2009, 2010, 2011 you'll use this download. So, step six, extract both the files that get downloaded to a folder on your C drive called MDT, as you can see shown. Step seven, install the setup exe file from the path indicated below. Be aware also it's recommended to disable your antivirus and firewall during the install to prevent it locking out any registries, etc. Step eight, follow the install wizard. So select on install products make sure that you're picking the right products in this case you only really want the mechanical desktop define it as the correct country and accept conditions enter your serial number which will either be your from your qualifying product or one that you've requested from us and then go to the configuration phase so you click on the configuration phase on the next screen this will take you into a screen where you can Pick the Inventor link, which is important if you want to translate data from Mechanical Desktop to Inventor from 2009. You also have your standards. Make sure you select the appropriate ones you require. Standalone license. If it's a network license, you'll need to contact us to request an update or a change to your network license. Tick any options that you want, such as Express Tools and Material Libraries. Set your shortcuts that you require. And then complete the configuration and then you're ready to install. Step 10, activate your MDT license. This should happen automatically over the internet, but should you have any problems with this, you can contact us and what you'll need to do is to, to take a screenshot of the activation request code and email that to our support uh, email below. And again, we'll put this in the blog post so you can connect to that straight away. And that should then have your Mechanical Desktop 2009 running on a Windows 7 machine.